Well, good morning, and welcome to another episode of Discover Lounge. I'm glad that you're with us today. Hey, today we're going to be talking about our fourth area of major area of ministry called Faith Filling School. Now, if you've been watching these videos, whether Discover Lounge or uh, Random Thoughts, you will hear in the background, even though I have my office door <laughs> closed, you'll hear in the background the noise. The offices, my office and the school offices and the church office, are all here in the area where most of the preschool classes are. So you're going to hear our children. But it's a great sound. It's a great opportunity to learn and grow about, hey, this is an opportunity for us to bring life and grace and mercy to families and children. So we'll talk more about our area of ministry, Faith Filling School, in just a moment. We'll see you on the flip side. Faith-filling school. A couple of things I want to bring to your attention today in this context, and that simply here is, boom, there it is, faith-filling school. That's a picture from a couple of years ago as we were helping out with uh, our summer school and, and uh, in intertwining VBS with there. But that that's another story. Faith-filling school. What, what are we? What are we all about? We're about bringing reading, writing, and arithmetic to children from infancy through fourth grade. Like I mentioned previously, uh, we're in the, bu the building where the infants through the two-year-olds are at. We have a wonderful opportunity to bring uh, children and families into a great relationship with Jesus. And that's really what it's all about, is bring Jesus into each classroom. It's one. It's the most advantage that we have here at Faith is to be able to bring Jesus into a classroom. Can't do that in public schools. Can't do that in charter schools. Can't do that in any other form other than Christian schools. And for us, that is a wonderful thing to be able to bring Jesus into our classrooms. I have the great advantage and opportunity and privilege. It's all wonderful. <laughs> but to bring Jesus to the children from infancy all the way through fourth grade and to share with them at least a little bit of a message for a few moments. I spend time in the classrooms for the infants through two-year-olds uh, on Wednesday mornings for their chapel service. And then the elementaries, K through four, uh, I do a chapel service, we're in the sanctuary, and then the three and the four-year-olds, the three-year-olds and the pre-Ks, uh, also in the sanctuary uh, with their chapel service as well. So that's an all-day, all-morning-long uh, event uh, for our kids on Wednesdays. And then the other advantage that we have, opportunity, privilege, is that I lead religion classes, uh, we call, and they are... Bible time, spend time in the Bible. We go for like literally from Genesis through Revelation uh, in very short snippets, but we I get a chance to interact and teach uh, the kindergarten through fourth grade kids. So it's a great, wonderful opportunity to bring Jesus into the classroom as well as to connect to their moms and dads, to connect to them and to help families. I'll give you an example. There was one family who's, who had two children here at our school, and they are now members of our congregation. They have become a part of a, a greater whole of relationship with Jesus Christ, and they are participating. And it's all, that's what it's all about, is learning to know Jesus, helping families to be in a better position in their lives, with having a relationship with Jesus Christ. And that is the great and wonderful thing for us. So this is what our faith filling school fundamentally is all about. So the opportunities bring Jesus to families. 
Uh, and, and this is for you, too. Uh, you can call the school office and see if there are any opportunities for you to volunteer uh, readers to the kids, for example. But the opportunity to bring Jesus to families, participating in school activities. We have several different activities that are designed for the school and for the school families. Um, and they're not closed to just the school families. They're open to the congregational families as well. So if you're interested in helping with kids and with families, well, there you go. Participate in these events. Uh, I, I get a chance to know, me personally, I get a chance to know these kids and their parents. And, and that's a great opportunity and that we have here at Faith that nobody else has. And to build up these young people, to build up their families in a great and wonderful relationship with Jesus. And then taking the time to share the grace of God that God has given to us. These are just a few of the opportunities that are available for us here at Faith for you to be a part of as well. Well, many people have asked over the years, and it's, just, it's a challenging question, to be quite honest, um, with economic things and realms as they are, um, why, what is the reason? Why, why we have a school? Why do we have a school? Why, why is that important for us here at Faith? Is it to educate? Oh, absolutely. Uh, we have smaller class sizes. For example, the maximum size that we can have within a classroom uh, spatially as well as interactionally is 18. So we have the opportunity to put 18 kids per room. So is to educate? Absolutely it is. To offer an option? An option for what? An option for education. Um, yes, it is an option. Uh, it is an option because we, like mentioned before, we have these wonderful opportunities to bring Jesus. So that's, uh, they may be coming here for that too. Uh, they come here for the education. They come here for the Christian presence. Uh, the reason we have the school is to develop relationships with students and families. Again, without a doubt, yes. Um, we have a grand opportunity, especially for children and families who do not have a church home. We have the great opportunity to connect and develop a relationship with them to open doors to Jesus that might not be might not be openable. In, in other words, there might not be another door that can be opened apart from our school. And it's really, really wonderful. And again, talk about I talk to kids about their life and their relationship. A lot of kids have a relationship with Jesus already while they're here. Um, I'm hoping and praying that uh, the kids that haven't at home and don't at home begin a process, absolutely, but to develop these relationships without batting an eyelash. To bring Jesus into the lives of family, especially those that are unchurched, again, that's uh, the great outreach facet of our school. It's a great opportunity to open, like I said, open doors. And then obviously, since I've been talking all about, it is all of the above. These are the reasons, and I'm sure there are many more that I can talk about, but for right now, for for this point of view, this is, this is, these are the reasons why we have a school. This is an opportunity for us to be able to bring life and grace to everyone. Okay, I'm ahead. Got one slide ahead of us here. I'll come back. So, these are the four areas of ministry that we have here at Faith. Meaningful worship, conversational discipleship, outreach and service, and we just covered the fourth one, Faith Filling School. Through all four of these areas of ministry, we try and we work and we serve so that people will hear the message of Jesus Christ, be equipped in their faith, encouraged with hope, so that they will engage with love, so that we get a chance to build up and raise up present and future disciples. 
let's wrap this up here, okay? And then we'll I'll give you a preview of what's going to be coming up next time. So, wrapping up our mission and ministry here. We talked about the four areas, reigning for worship, conversational discipleship, outreach and service, and faith-filling school. Each area is intended to build up and raise up present and future disciples, as I mentioned previously, to maximize the disciple as he or she grows with God. I want to explain that just a little bit. That's why I put maximize in quotation marks. Our intent here at Faith simply is to bring to fruition a new life that God has created in each and every one of us. God has created each and every one of us a brand new life of faith. The Holy Spirit is poured into us in a literal and as well as spiritual manner through holy baptism. He is. He comes to us in a means through the Word as we study, as we read, as we discuss, and participate in His Word. The Holy Spirit is moving God into our lives. And while we have people here on earth, it is our gigantic, enormous goal is to help equip a person to the maximization of, of what he or she can be as a disciple as he or she grows with God. So that's what that bullet point means there. And thirdly, to give the opportunity for you to participate in the life of Christ. All right, let's kind of uh, move into this participation part for a minute. Being a Christian is a participation sport, to use a phraseology. It's not like baseball, but it's not like football, it's not like soccer, it's not like dance, it's not like whatever other things that are out there that help create community, that help create connectivity, that help create physical abilities and, and the like. We're not like that. But we're like that in the context of we are creating community. We are creating connections. We are creating opportunities to be the best and the most wonderful Christian person while we have the opportunity. We have these opportunities. And the beautiful thing about participating in life with Christ, it doesn't end until the life ends. Dance finishes, you know, some, you, you quit dancing. Uh, baseball, some careers are very, very long or very, very short. Same thing with football and basketball and soccer and all these other things. So our community is a lifelong community. We have members here at Faith who have been here for nearly 50 years. They have found a home here at Faith. They participate here at Faith. They live their life as Christian people here at Faith. Now, is that the exception to the rule? Yeah, it is. It is the exception to the rule. But what it isn't is it helps you to know that your participation, your walk with Christ, is a lifelong walk. It is not a short-term career walk. It is a lifelong walk. You never quit walking as a disciple of Jesus Christ. And we have the opportunity to raise you up and to build you up as a person to live their life walk with Christ as a disciple. Being a disciple is not a temporary thing. Being a disciple, like I said, is a lifelong thing. I'm going to, I'm beginning to repeat myself. <laughs> anyway, but it's also a community, yes. It is a, an opportunity, it's relationships, absolutely. It, it is commonality. We have a common goal, and that is ultimately to build up and raise up present and future disciples. 
but to participate. And that's really what I want to ask you, as a disciple of Jesus, to participate in your walk with God, with us here at Faith, to join and participate and build one another up. Okay. What's going to be happening next in Discover Lounge? Well, we are going to discover the means of your participation. In other words, you as a Christian have certain skills, talents, opportunities. You also have gifts that come from God. We're going to talk about all four of those things, skills, talents, opportunities, and gifts. That's next in Discover Lounge as we move, help move you forward and into a stronger and a more wonderful relationship with God. Okay, any questions, any thoughts, comments, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you in that. If any questions about our school, there you go. That's the comment spot for you to participate in as well. well We'll talk to you soon. We'll see you Sunday morning. Sunday morning in Bible study, 915. Sunday morning in worship at 1030. We'll see you then.